uh, got some royal min news today. I just want to say thank you to the coin collector for letting me know that the uh, 2018 mintage figures are out. Uh, particularly keen on the 10 pence pieces. If we just scroll down. And in 2018, all the alphabets are 220,000 each. So that's absolutely tiny numbers uh, for a 10 pence piece. If we look at previous years, 2017, 33.3 million of them. 2016, 135 million. Uh, so imagine these, you're talking, you, you've got these in a sea of millions of coins. So these are gonna be really rare and sought after. The interesting thing here is the heraldic shield tenpence piece zero none so that's got me looking if you go to the penny here we go 2018 none for the heraldic shield Again, 2018 for the two pence, nothing. It's saved the five pence. But no, it's not there for the 10 pence. Nothing there for the 20 pence. And it's not there for the 50 pence either when we found the scroll down for these 50 P's. Where are we? There you go. So it's gonna make the um, 2018 annual coin set quite sought after because there's loads of NFCs in there. Uh, if we go back, same for the two pound coins. Nothing for the uh, 2018 Britannia. And if you look there, nothing for 2018 and nothing for 2017. So, I would hazard a guess and say, and I think they might be changing the shield. Uh, they might just be phasing these coins out. But literally the 50 pence, 20 pence, 10 pence, 5 pence, 2 pence and 1 pence are all NFC for this year. So they're not for circulation. So uh, if you've got them in set, I would hazard a guess now the 2018 set's going to jump up in price rapidly. So if you've got one, lucky you. If you can get one cheap now at reasonable money, I might buy one as a punt now just to uh, get one for the collection. Uh, also, I'm just going to cut away now. I've got an email today uh, of some more 50 pence pieces coming out. I'll cut away to that and we can have a look at that together. I'll disappear off this page. Uh, the 50 pence pieces are worth looking at. You go up to 2018. So here we go. Uh, so the Peter Rabbit, the rabbit with carrots as we call it, that's only 1.4 million. Uh, again, with Flopsy Bunny, I've got loads of those in, in the run, so I'm quite surprised to see uh, both these rabbits being quite low minty. So 1.4 million um, makes it rarer than a Newton. Rarer than the 2017 Shield. And again, rarer than most of the Olympics. So that, that's that's quite surprising that. So these two here are, are quite a rare coin. Uh, I must have 30 or 40 of them. Um, the Peter Rabbit, the rabbit with carrots as we call it. I think I've got about, I must have about 10 or 12 of those. So I've been, I think I've been quite lucky with them in my uh, uh, bucket of coins I've got. So I'm gonna sift through this afternoon and, and dig them out. Uh, again, Little Miss Titmouse, 1.7 million. That's relatively low for a 50 pence piece. And even the Paddington's, uh, 5 million. They're, they're quite scarce, those. So, uh, interesting to see that. But, uh, yeah, interesting to see the uh, the two the two low-numbered rabbits there. That's quite interesting. So, I'll, I'll cut away now to the new uh, 50 piece. Yeah, so we've got some more 50 piece today. Um, unfortunately, it's more of the same uh, as far as I'm concerned. 
Uh, what they've done this time is re-released the 50 years of the 50p set in PA4 sets. So we've got both the silvers in PA4s and also the two sets of gold. Uh, for, for me, uh, I won't be rushing out and buying these. Uh, I, I don't think for me they, they offer me anything any different to what I've already got. Um, I've got the gold proof set of those. Uh, I didn't go for the uh, gold proof set of the military ones because I've, I've, I've got most of them in other gold proof forms and didn't see worth it. But you'll see the prices down here, 9,370. L's bells, mate, that is very expensive. Uh, there'll be a few people buying these, but I think these are out of most people's limits. I mean, let's be honest, eight, you'd be looking at over 18, 18 and a half grand uh, for 10 coins. That is really expensive. Uh, and for me at this minute in time, I, don't, I wouldn't conceive, consider them as value for money. Um, I got the 2009 set, which consists of 16 gold proof coins, and it's nowhere near that money. And on fair enough, there's a, the, the, these are PA4 sets, which means the, the double thickness. But these sets contain 142.1 grams of gold. So today's market intrinsic value is 5,438 quid of a golden. So you are paying a, a massive premium. Uh, I'm not against uh, Roman having these sorts of sets where they're sort of low numbered and exclusive. Uh, I just think this is just being done to death and I think this is just one step too far. I think this cow's just been milked a little bit too much. Uh, I'm not saying if, if these were different coins, I'm not saying I wouldn't buy them. Uh, but I think this series now has been done to death and if anybody's listened to the Royal Mint, you, you need to give us something new, mate. Uh, but that's my opinion only. Uh, I can see a few people jumping on these uh, PA4 silver sets because they're not they're not too price they're 450 quid they're not too expensive but also on this page what caught my eye was this the uh, the 50p or the 50 new pens they're still in stock uh this was released uh a week if not two weeks ago now uh i know i know coins has got one and a few other people got these but this is to my opinion this is one of the lowest numbered gold proof coins they've launched and it's still not sold out. Uh, I think there's two problems with that. One, I think the overall design is not as commercial as some of the 50 pence pieces. Uh, and I think more importantly now, the price of these at 980 quid. Uh, I know the prices of gold has gone up, you can't help that, it's, it's a fact of life, prices go up. But it wasn't that long ago I was buying gold proof 50 pence pieces from the Roman at 690, 700 quid. Uh, and for them to jump up to 980, it's a bit of a, for me, it's a bit of a mental roadblock now. Uh, I'm not saying I'm not going to buy any more in 2020, but I would say these would have to be absolute stunning coins. Uh, I think the Gold Proof 50 piece going forward for 2020, they need to be stunning designed, low numbered, uh, and definitely don't milk them to death because I think these up here. Don't float my boat in any way, shape or form. So don't, let me know your thoughts. Were you going to buy them? Are you going to take a punt on these? Uh, no doubt these silver sets will be on eBay tonight. And I, I can see some jokers punting seven, 800 quid for them. Uh, and these gold proof PA4 sets, these, I'm not mentioning the name of the company, but there'll be, a, there'll be a company in London who are buying them sets, breaking them up and trying to flog the individual coins for no doubt about seven and a half to 10 grand a piece. Uh, good luck with that if you can get away with it. So uh, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for having a bit of a, a mooch with us today. I'll see you again soon. Ta-da.